That's just their own stupidity. I should have been there. Darkness is the absence of light, and stupidity in that instance was the absence of me. Catherine, I have students in my office now. Students? Undergrads? I don't know. From the looks of it, they want to sell me a Brooks Brothers franchise. <laughs> All right. Good morning, sir. I'm Cameron Winkleboss, and this is my brother, Tyler. And you're here because... Either one of you can answer. I'm sorry, I thought you were reading the letter. I've read the letter. Well, sir, we came up with an idea for a website called Harvard Connection. We've since changed the name to Connect You. And Mark Zuckerberg's- I understand. Idea. I'm asking what do you want me to do about it? Well, sir, in the Harvard Student Handbook, which is distributed to each freshman, under the heading, Standards of Conduct in the Harvard Community, it says, well, it says, the college expects its students to be honest and forthcoming in its dealings with members of this community. Students are required to respect both private and public ownership. Instances of theft, misappropriation, and- um, Punch me in the face. Go on. Misappropriation or un or unauthorized use will result in disciplinary action, including the requirement to withdraw from the college. And you memorized that instead of doing what? Sir, the reason my brother and I came to you today to ask Sir, respectfully It's against course. university rules to steal from another student, plain and simple. I don't really see this as a university issue. Of course it's a university issue. There's a code of ethics and an honor code, and he violated them both. You entered into a code of ethics with the university, not with each other. I'm sorry, sir, but what you just said makes no sense to me at all. I'm devastated by that. What my brother is trying to say is that if Mark Zuckerberg walked into our dorm and stole our computer, that would be a university issue, right? I really don't know. This office doesn't handle petty larceny. This isn't petty larceny, Ty. Sir, this idea is potentially worth millions of dollars. <laughs> millions? Yes. You might be letting your imaginations run away with you. I really don't feel like you're in the position to make that call, sir. I was the U.S. Treasury Secretary. I'm in some position. Sir, letting our imaginations run away with us is exactly what we were told to do in your freshman address. Well, then I would suggest that the two of you come up with a new, new project. You would. Everyone at Harvard is inventing something. I believe that inventing a job is better than finding a job. So let me suggest again that the two of you find a new, new project. I'm sorry, but that's not the point. Please, arrive at the point. Look, it doesn't take an intellectual property expert to know the difference between right and wrong. And you're saying that I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. I'm, I'm saying that. Ty. Really? Please. And? How did they get this appointment? Let me tell you something, Mr. Winklevoss and Mr. Winklevoss. Since we're on the subject of right and wrong, this meeting, this action, the two of you being here is wrong. It's not worthy of Harvard. It's not what Harvard saw in you. And you don't get special treatment. Start another project like we're making a diorama and for the science fair. problem with that, Mr. Winklevoss. We never asked for special treatment. The courts are always at your disposal. Is there anything else I can do for you? Ty, Ty. Thank you very much for your time, sir. <laughs>